everyone, I'm Kathy Fortner, independent consultant with The Pampered Chef, and I help busy people prepare quick and easy, budget-friendly meals using high-quality tools, nutri nutritious and delicious recipes, and time-saving tips and tricks in the kitchen. And today, I'm excited to share with you our CSA box. Each week during the summer, I try to come on, um, if I'm here or you know, depending on how things are going, you know how crazy summer can be. But each week I do try to come on and share what's coming in our CSA box. And if you're not familiar with CSA, it's Community Supported Agriculture. And it's where we um, invest in a farm early in the season. And then when harvest time comes, we get a share of the harvest. So each week we get something different depending on, you know, what's what's in season and how, they, how the weather is. You know, all sorts of variables um, are... Farmers are actually talking about how some of the stuff that usually comes available in the fall is already starting to ripen up. So, it, never a dull moment in farming, right? So, let's dig in and see what's in this week's bag. Oh, and if you know someone who is looking for um, quick and easy budget-friendly meal tips and ideas, please feel free to share this video with them. And be sure to um, click like, subscribe, um, depending on what platform you're on. That way you'll know next time I post a video. So, and I do more than CSA videos too. So. Anyway, so let's dig into our box for today. Today, right here on top, we've got some beautiful, beautiful leaf lettuce. So, and I've got this little warning. Okay. Um, beautiful leaf lettuce for obviously salads for dinner. So we'll put that off to the side here. This is one that comes once a, one time during the summer, and this is amaranth. So this is a cooking green. You definitely want to cook this. You want to saute it. Um, or something like that. You don't want to broil it or bake it. It's definitely one of those saute, um, saute greens. And it will, does have a tendency, if you look at, you can see the deep purple in there. Um, it does have a tendency to change the color of anything light colored, like your onions, uh, potatoes or anything like that. So that's our amaranth. And that's one that I'm still, and like I said, it comes once a year, so I don't totally have my rhythm down with it. Um, it's great in stir fries, uh, maybe a quick soup, something like that or just you know, sauteed vegetables for you know, dinner. I like sauteed veggies for breakfast sometimes, so. Here we have a cauliflower. We're a huge fan of cauliflower around here. And this one's different. This one doesn't have quite the head that you're used to, so it's a different variety. Uh, it's one of the things I like about uh, farm boxes. Uh, different things come, so you get different varieties of, of vegetables than you normally see. So I'm excited about using that cauliflower. Look how huge that is too, beautiful. I've got some thyme. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that beautiful thyme. I have a, a wild rice soup that we like to make that uses thyme, and it'll just be great in a lot of different dishes. So some fresh herbs. Okay. Well, oh, I'm smelling that. <laughs> it smells wonderful. Okay, and then here uh, we've got some beautiful, beautiful uh, cherry tomatoes. I can't pull them all out, but one of my favorite salads is to do just a variety of cherry tomatoes. It's so pretty to have all the different colors in there. Each one has its um, unique flavor, uh, sweet to tart, um, going on there. So really pretty to put out a bowl of cherry tomatoes for snacking and a healthy option too. Okay, we have radishes here, and I can't remember which kind of radish this is. Um, I'm personally not a huge radish person, but everyone in the house is, so it really depends on how spicy this one is. But one of the, I like, you know, slice it up, put it on a salad. I also like to pickle it, so put it into a quick pickle juice in the refrigerator and use it on salads and wraps and stuff like that, so. And, you know, if you want to definitely be frugal, save some money, um, these greens are totally edible, so you can mix those up into something else, too. Oh, green beans, yes. Green beans. We used to grow so many of these as a kid in our backyard. That's one of the big things that um, my dad planted all the time. So beautiful green beans. They're great for soups, stir fries, or you know, just a basic side dish. So love it. Okay, and we have a small watermelon. So that'll be nice and refreshing on the one evening here. Maybe tonight. Who knows? We'll see. Um, some standard multi-week summer, I guess they're technically fruits, right? <laughs> um, well, let's see here. how many we have. We've got some green, or green cucumbers there, and we have some yellow cucumbers. I just love cucumbers. They're so light and refreshing. They actually make a good cracker replacement. So if you want to dip them in your favorite dips, your hummus, um, 
any kind of creamy sauce or anything like that, or just, you know, into your salad or just plain snacking. Um, my husband sliced up a couple cucumbers for us for snack the other day, so. And of course, our one of our other standard multi-week veggies, zucchini. <laughs> so, love zucchini as well. Uh, we made zucchini fritters the other day. Definitely use it in stir fry. I'm actually looking at um, freezing some of it for winter. So, you know, chopping it up, blanching it for about a minute, then rinsing it in cold water and then freezing it. That way it doesn't get all mushy in the freezer. Um, but great way to preserve them for later use. I uh, love using them in the soups and all sorts of stuff for zucchini. Zucchini bread. Um, got a recipe for chocolate zucchini muffins everyone loves. So. These little guys are for my husband and my son. <laughs> I love that nose. So these will be great, and obviously in salsa and some of our southwestern dishes. Uh, I've got to be very careful with those, though. Here we have an Asian melon. So we're getting into the fruits, um, literal fruits of our summer season. So into our melons. And then, oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. And the bag is a little bit damp just from harvest. Um these beautiful heirloom tomatoes. Look at that. We are getting heavy, finally heavy into tomato season. Oh, this is great. You know, tomato cucumber salad right here, guys, right? You know, chop up your tomatoes, your cucumbers, add a little bit of uh, vinegar, um, some balsamic vinegar, especially you see all those flavored balsamic vinegars around these days, some salt, uh, or even just, you know, take a look at this. Here's our our burger to tomato for burgers this weekend. Love it. Let's see how many more we have. Different sizes. Okay, there we go. See? Okay, and that is the end of our CSA box for this week. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you had some got some ideas for what to do with your um, veggies that you find either in your garden or your local CSA or your local supermarket. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to share them below. Would love to hear what your favorite um, vegetable is from our harvest this week, if you wanna make that, you know, comment below with that, or how, which one you would like some ideas on what to do with. I'm happy to share some recipes for you, with you too. So, hope you have a great evening and I'll look forward to seeing you guys all later. Thanks, bye.